Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Europa Universalis 4. I'm quite enjoying this campaign, I'm quite enjoying where this game has come since I last played. So, I hope you're enjoying this too. In any event, I should lower a lot of my spending. Maybe I should have mothballed these transports while I didn't need them. i do so now. And maybe I should mothball some of my forts. So I've just defeated the coalition against me. There we go. That'll save me a bit of money. I've currently got two loans. I'd like to pay them off if I can. Provincial unrest in a few places. Not ideal. What is it? War exhaustion? Yeah. That's not ideal. Let's see if I can buy that down. Hate to do it, especially when I'm over my limit on uh, relations already, but. I'm spending a good bit on peace deals, I'd rather not have some, you know, unrest problems. Anyway. I think... I'll merge these. And start thinking about, uh, my theoretic, my eventual war with, uh, England. To get... Connaught's claims. So I'll need to unmothball my fleet once I'm ready. Let's let my guys reinforce a bit. And take stock of the situation, what I would need to win such a war. So England is allied with Brittany, Papal State, and Flanders. Leinster's a vassal of England. I could use some ducats right now. Won't be able to call their own allies. But I could make Papal State a co-belligerent. None of these guys would help me right now, but... We'll give it time. There, yeah, my manpower's recovering nicely. Ugh, I wish I could have... another relation slot. Or a next one of my vassals. I mean, I could dump Aragon. They're not hugely powerful. That is, after all, why I didn't want to royal marry them. Let's see. So I get Denmark's got a whole bunch of war exhaustion, but... Oh, see, now Aragon would join a war against England. Not against Leinster directly. Well, England does have one of the cores or one of the uh, claims I would want to take, so wouldn't be terrible. Make papal state a co-belligerent, and they could therefore. Okay, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Repay loan. Hopefully Austria can pay off some of their debt. 
Where are your arrivals still? We're here. Okay. So it would be nice to get them against, because I believe if I made Papal State a co-belligerent. Yeah, it would be nice to have them to fight, you know... Hungary. Hungary's not a huge deal, though, I don't think. Nor is the Papal State, for that matter. Let's just see, look at some of these totals. England total has 22,000. And they've got some manpower saved up, though. So, I mean, Hungary... No... Hungary's not nothing, but... They can be dealt with. Plus their tech 5. England's... Ooh, England is tech 4. That makes me kind of want to go ahead and do this. Well, I've got the advantage. When would I likely have can- yeah, ten years till I get cannons. Who else are England's allies? Brittany? Flanders? I'm not too worried about them. The, th the main thing is, whatever I have on the island, on Ireland, is what I'm gonna have. And whatever I have in France is what I'm gonna have. There's not gonna be any, you know, moving reinforcements back and forth. So... You know, because the English fleet is just gonna be too much. Military does the Papal State have right now? Yeah, they're unless I've just missed them down in the garbage tier. Let's order by country. Oh, actually, they've got a decent army. Um, yeah, I need to wait a bit to do a war. There's a fort here. Is there a fort in Leinster? No, but it's a capital, so... Kind of. Let's... Just start doing diplomacy on some of the nearby states. Just because I have the diplomat free and I might as well. And that way I don't eventually get a massive coalition. I'm just going to combine them. Only my manpower can build up a bit more. Okay, so I think... This army... Would be enough to, for the most part, handle my continental threats. Would this army be enough to take on England? Maybe. I mean, England's got 22,000 for sure, but they're quite behind on tech. So if I attacked England for meth and made the Papal State a co-belligerent called an Aragon, 
I mean, they also would have their army here, so it wouldn't be this army all on its own. And, I mean, fighting Hungary, no huge deal. Papal State, maybe, and Britain. So the thing is, I would just have to defeat these armies in quick succession. You know, what before they can before the enemy armies can link up with their allies. But that's not a big problem. I mean, just defeat that. You know, defeat Brittany's army. And if I have to go into debt and get more mercenaries, that's that's fine. You know, I'll pay off the loan that I have already, and then save up a few months, and then do it, I think. I'll go ahead, and it's going to take a little bit to transport all these guys. But I'll start getting troops in position. And just keep an eye out in case there's some sort of opportunity that strikes. Particularly, um... If I notice that Denmark and or Austria are ready to fight a little bit sooner. I don't need you in Provence anymore. When you're getting closer, you still owe all that money. And you still have a bunch of war exhaustion. But that'll die down, I hope. And hopefully I don't need to help you against Sweden, because I will drop you if you are in that sorry state. Only supported by Livonian Order, that's good. It's going to be a while before I can quite pay that off. I might just accept I'm going to have to extend the loan and maybe take out a few more to strike while the opportunity is here. Because, I mean, as I said, the problem that England would be facing is, I mean, Tech 4 in military versus, you know, my actually good leader. Not my leader, my good tech. It's just tough to say. Well, either way, I need to wait for all my troops to get moved over. And then I need to be ready to, uh, as I said, attack while I have the opportunity. Ah, oh, they got up to tech 5. Still, I'll keep an eye out. I mean, I still have a tech level on him. Um, it's gonna be a while, of course, before I can get artillery. I'm not going to want to wait that long. Oh, did one of my advisors die? Yeah. Well, that's too bad. I'm get a new one then. Which one? Diplo. Oh, they're all the expensive ones. I don't know if I can afford that at the moment. Now my Diplo power is going to be really weak. Maybe I need to drop one of my extra, I don't know, it's like Denmark. Yeah, sorry Denmark. It's been fun, but you're just killing my diplomatic power a little bit too much. And you wouldn't be willing to join me in a war, and Aragon would. So, you know, you were great while, while you lasted. Mm. 
But I need the Diplotech now. Alright, one last army being dropped off. I might go ahead and do the war. And I mean... Yeah, Scotland's pretty hurt, but what have they actually got? Is there a situation where if England gets really hurt, Scotland might move in against them? Or do they have a truce? Probably have a truce. A truce till 77. Castile gets a claim on Bern. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. They've got a truce with us for a while. Alright. Not that long, but a little while. And it's entirely possible if Hungary comes into the war, Austria would change their mind and want to join. Do they have any, like, claims over there they fabricated or anything? No. They'd really not want to, actually. Right, I do have a bunch of claims on Naples, but they're still in a union under Aragon, so let's not. Two forty nine. I'll be able to repay that before too long. At the rate I'm making money now. Helps that I get these war reps. Not too much. They're pretty weak, but hopefully they will hurt Burgundy. Especially if their treaty ends and they get a coalition against them again. Oh. Oh. Oh my. We have formed a personal union with Austria. And... Castile has declared a succession war for it. My, my, my. Well, I'm not repaying that loan. I'm definitely unmothballing my forts. And now I have to try to bring my troops back. Hopefully, they don't all get killed. But this will have to happen in the next episode. Because I just don't have time to fight out this sort of war. In the meantime, I'm gonna need all the military strength I can afford. Let's just see if anyone joins Castile. Portugal. Anyone else? Do they have other allies? Burgundy. Ah, but Burgundy ain't gonna help. Okay then, well, I'm not too worried about 30,000 infantry and about 10,000 cavalry, and it's France plus Austria. Yeah, I think I've got this under control, so thank you for watching and have a good day.